Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. It is the morning and I'm gonna be honest, I'm feeling pretty exhausted today. The past few days have been a little crazy. I've had more energy than I've had in a while and I don't know if that has to do with me starting up these new exercises, but I've just had like this boost or this jolt of just like energy and I've just been cleaning like crazy. Usually I just do like the normal things. My body is hurting more than usual because I wake up and I'm just like, okay, what are we gonna do today? Let's keep going, let's keep cleaning. Like I'm just in this mood, like I like cleaning, but when I am bigger, it's just hard harder because I just don't have a lot of energy and when I was in my 400 pound body I was just depressed and when you're depressed cleaning is just not your top priority you just don't care to clean at least for me that's how I felt but now like as time has gone on it's gotten easier for me but like I do enjoy cleaning it makes me feel good to have like a clean home so I'm just like, all right, what are we gonna do? And <laughs> so these past few days, I've just been waking up like, okay, setting a plan, ready to go, wanting to just clean everything. And it feels really good, but my body is sore. And last night was hard because I knew that I needed a shower, but I was just like, oh, I just wanna go to bed. So I ended up going to bed knowing that I'll wake up this morning to take a shower, still in my PJs because that's the plan. I'm gonna make some breakfast and then take a shower and clean some more because I am just feeling so good. And I love that I have this energy because I'm just ready to go. I don't wanna burn myself out though, so I try not to do too much. I'm doing this walking challenge for 30 days and then I am doing my arm workout for 100 days. So I don't want to burn myself out, but I'm just feeling very motivated and just in a really good headspace right now. Even though I'm feeling exhausted today, I just still feel like I can take on the world. I also wanted to mention that because I was so exhausted last night, I didn't end up making dinner. I just ordered out, but I ordered Zupas. That's one of my safe foods. So I didn't have, like I didn't run into any issues if that makes sense. So I'm all good there. Sometimes like if I order food, it kind of will put me into a spiral and then the next day I struggle, but I'm feeling fine today. I don't think I will run into any issues. So, well, I would know if I was gonna run into issues because if I was this morning, I would be starting out rough. So this morning is going good. So I'm all good on that front. I wanna make a tropical themed yogurt bowl this morning. So I have a mixed berry yogurt. It was either this or banana. And I thought this might be a little bit more tropical. For my fruits, I'm going to be using passion fruit, mangoes, pineapples, and raspberries. I have some chia seeds here that I'm going to be soaking in some coconut milk. And on top, I'm going to add some coconut shreds. I was looking in my cupboard and I think for some extra protein, I'm also going to be adding some hemp hearts. The first thing I'm going to be doing is adding in a tablespoon of chia seeds and I'm running super low. I need to stock up on my chia seeds and then I will be adding just a little bit of coconut milk. I just want to soak the chia seeds. Whoa, that milk came out way faster than I was expecting. So there's a lot more in there, but that's okay. While I'm waiting for my chia seeds to soak, I wanted to talk about my water intake for the past couple of days because I've been drinking a lot of water and feeling really good about that. So I have been trying to drink this whole jug. That has been my goal 
for two days, I have actually accomplished that. I don't drink it out of this because it's just so heavy, but uh, throughout the day, I will put it in this cup and just drink on this. When I came back from vacation, I was struggling in a few different areas and one of them was getting my water in. So it feels good that I've actually been able to get my water in again. I notice when I don't drink my water, I just feel lethargic and my head just feels not good. When I start drinking my water, that goes away. So cup is empty. It's the morning, like I said, and I haven't drank any water. So it's time to pour me a glass and get drinking my water. This is also your reminder for today. If you haven't drank any water, drink your water. My chia seeds are looking pretty soaked now, so I'm going to add in my yogurt and mix them together. I'm obsessed with the Too Good yogurts because they have a little saying, find something good in every day. This is my favorite part about using frozen fruit. You get to mash it up and once it's all mashed up, I haven't done it very much, but it makes a creamy texture like frozen yogurt and it is delicious on a hot summer day. I'm really about finding stuff that is refreshing because of what the weather is like in Utah. So this is perfect for summer and it's a nice treat. It's weird because you're like breakfast, should that be a treat? Yeah, I want a treat for breakfast. I just got done mashing it up and it still has its chunks of fruit in it, but look at that texture. It's like you're eating some frozen yogurt for breakfast. Passion fruit gives it this little sweetness. It's Passion fruit is kind of tart, so if you don't like tart stuff, I wouldn't recommend it, but um, there's a fly on me, get off. But it's so yummy. I just got out of the shower and I'm feeling very fresh, clean, and rejuvenated. Now it is time for me to start my exercises and get all sweaty again. I'm going to try this exercise today. I don't really know what it's called, but I saw it on TikTok and it just looks hard, but I really want to try it out. The lady who posted about it says it works your back, core, and your glutes. She says she does three reps of 60. That just seems like so much because it does look hard. For now, I'm just gonna try one rep of 15. If I can do more, I will try and do more. If not, we're gonna do 15. I'm not sure if I did that workout right, but I surely tried to do it. My dogs kept bugging me, which made it harder because I kept having to start over. <laughs> and now I am exhausted, but we're gonna keep on going with our exercises. I'm meal prepping dinner for the next few nights. I'm just making some pasta, so I'm chopping up my veggies. I've got an onion, a yellow squash, two zucchinis. I have some peppers. I probably won't use all of them, maybe two of them, and then some shredded carrots that I will be putting in with the veggies. Here's what my pasta ended up looking like. It's always an easy go-to for a meal. We got back from our walk tonight and I totally spaced to turn off that I was no longer on a walk. It said that I had walked for 40 minutes, but I think it was probably around a 34 minute walk because I got 3,400 steps. 